Welcome to Malta. It's the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2014. We're in the Master Shipyard and next to us is a newcomer to the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. It's Montenegro and we welcome Marsha and Leila. Hello Marsha. Who's Marsha and who's Leila? I'm Marsha. I'm Leila. Are you Leila? So it's the first time Montenegro is taking part at the, at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. How do you feel about, about that, uh, that your country is coming into the Junior Contest? Yeah, we're very happy to be here uh, and we feel like uh, very responsibility. Yeah. Um, uh, very big responsibility for us. And, uh, but we're trying to do our best and we hope uh, that it's going to be great. Yeah. How did the idea come up that you would enter a song into your national final and then come to represent your country at the end to the uh, contest? Well, um, because uh, both of us followed the, uh, the, older, uh, the older year vision um, and so we thought maybe it's a junior year vision. Um, so um, we found out that there was one and we wanted to be, um, kinda be mm -hmm. part, uh, of, that, part yeah. of it. So we did <laughs> when Fantastic. we were here now. Now, when, I, when you talk to me, I hear that you have an accent in, in your speech. That's not from Montenegro, is it? No. Tell us where you're from, actually. I was born in America, mm -hmm. um, but like when I was one month, I moved to Montenegro where my dad lives, and mm -hmm. I stayed here almost all my life. Fantastic. How did you find each other to sing together? Well, we knew each other uh, since we were little, but uh, we weren't close. I mean, we knew each other from other festivals and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and but when they called us, we met in the, uh, in the uh, office. In the office, yeah. <laughs> and then we met better and... Yeah. And we go. Let's talk about the song a little bit. Uh, for me, it's almost unpronounceable. I, I can try booty. Diete na yedan dan. Yeah, great. What, what does it mean? <laughs> that means be a kid for a day. Or be a child for a day. Everybody yeah. says be a child for a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like we're sending a message to adults to remind uh, their, that period of time uh, when they were kids. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> now, now, part of, of the requirements to take part of this in this contest is that you had to be part of the songwriting itself. Did you um, yeah. write it? Both of you, uh, or uh, one of us? One of us was supposed to be the songwriter, and it's me. Um, it, I didn't write the whole song, but I was there almost the, the whole time helping mm -hmm. to write the lyrics. So, what what was the animation for you to write this song? The idea. What what what, what give you the idea to write it? So, um, the there was another woman, and her name is Sanya Peris. She wrote mm -hmm. the lyrics with me, and so we just. <laughs> She gave me this idea, so we are both writing. Oh, it's very good. I couldn't write a song, actually. So it's very good. Now, then you went to uh, the national final in Montenegro, and to one of the big Eurovision superstars was part of the panel, Jelko Joksimovic. Oh, Jelko Joksimovic. Have you, have you met him as well, personally? Uh, no. Jelko no. Joksimovic uh, was representing Serbia. Serbia. Mm -hmm. And, and Montenegro and Lana Moya yeah, it was together, yeah? Yeah, yeah, they mm -hmm. were together then. And uh, last year on the Eurovision in Copenhagen, I think, uh, was uh, Sergei Cetkovic. He was representing Montenegro, yeah. This year. This year. <laughs> uh, so we met him and we sang with him. And He's yeah. a pretty tall guy, this uh, Sergei Shetkovic, yeah. isn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> Very tall. He's the, really the tallest really nice. man of Eurovision I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> so now you've been on the stage rehearsing. Today was your first rehearsal day. How did that go for you? Very, it was okay. It was, as soon as I stepped on the stage, I felt totally confident and normal and I wasn't scared at all. Yeah, Fantastic. I felt like at home. Yeah. yeah, well we watched a bit from the press center. You're really amazing how, how you, you're confident you are on this stage. Yeah, because um, it's not that easy because our song, everybody thinks the song is easy to sing, mm. but it's not because we have to use a lot of energy it's really and, fast and the song is fast and it's also hard for a duet. It's hard mm -hmm. for us to and find And we have to voices. sing and dance at the same time. It's yeah. not simple <laughs> it's at all. Uh, I, f I would lose the air when I had to dance yeah, <laughs> and sing together. We lose a lot of energy, so it's mm -hmm. hard to, yeah. you know. So what does give you the energy? What, what do you do to get this uh, kick? The crowd maybe uh, yeah. and actually because we dreamed of this for almost like three months and we're yeah. like if I were finally we're so here so let's just do this yeah 
Now, what, what interests me is when you, when you finish with the Junior Eurovision Song Contest, will you stay together and do some more music? Yeah, we were talking we're about planning it. On it. Yeah, we're planning uh, to write a new song by ourselves. Uh, and I don't know. We hope mm -hmm. that would be great. Because <laughs> uh, I think it was Leila. You were doing. Uh, you're also doing poetry. You're writing poems, and and they've been <laughs> even published. They're more. They're more like uh, songs. Um, I play. I play a little bit of guitar. So mm -hmm. when I would play, I would just something would pop up, and I would write. Songs. Yeah, so she plays guitar, I play piano, <laughs> so we think we'll <laughs> make, <laughs> made a great team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, y you were, were an X Factor as well in, in Montenegro, yeah, uh, awesome. and uh, I think that is a huge challenge. Is the junior contest as big for you or bigger? Uh, well, I think a junior contest is bigger because, I don't know, X Factor is like a competition where there are adults and children and people of all ages, so yeah. it's not very good for children, mm -hmm. that's my opinion. Uh, and Junior Vision is, uh, I'm sure, that is uh, till now the biggest competition I've ever been, and I'm sure that uh, it will be a huge experience for me, and it will uh, help me in my career. Oh, this is re really, really amazing that you're really on the, on the, on the ground for this, that's, that's fantastic. Malta, you've been uh, at the welcome reception, we've, we saw you all there. Have you seen something else in Malta? And what do you think of the Maltese people that are here? Yeah, we, we really like it. They're all so nice and very, very kind. Very pretty yeah. and the people are really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, we had a tour yesterday. Uh, we were in a museum, I don't know how it's museum, called. we don't know what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were in Popeye Village. It's oh, really Papa great. Village. Yeah, nice. uh, we really like it. It's great. It's like a like a theme park. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and actually, the, the the movie Popeye was done here. Yeah, filmed there. Yeah, right, and, and yeah. Uh, but three years ago, I came. I came here on holidays, uh -huh. and I was caught by the people there. So you have to be part of the act. So I became yeah. an actor for for a day. So oh, that's, that's cool. That's that's, that's cool. So cool. You should yeah. you should do that too so to be actresses. Would you like to be more doing television a bit more? Yeah. As actress, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what uh, I read about in your bio, you love Eurovision. So, I've been following it for how many years? I've been following, uh, but uh, uh, to be honest, uh, I didn't follow the Junior Eurovision because uh, it's not on our television yeah, until now don't. because mm -hmm. Montenegro wasn't the, never a participant. Was, yeah, never. Uh, but the big Eurovision I'm following since I've been uh, a kid, and my whole family is in music. My old, I have three older sisters. They're all artists. I don't know. Mm -hmm. My sister is uh, on Music Academy, so uh, I'm following her steps. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. If you were not going to be singers, what would you like to be? Be, be actually. Well, uh, I would like to be a singer and a musician. I would like to write my own songs to have big concerts. I don't yeah. know, that's something uh, that makes me feel great. Yeah. Uh, Same. Wh which music star are you looking up at in, in, in the world? What is your, your idol? Who's your idol? Mm, I have lots of people that I like. I mean, everybody is really talented. In my opinion, mm -hmm. everybody is really talented. <laughs> um, do you have any names of uh, that, like me, like Lady Gaga, for instance, or? Yeah, or I like um, I like R and B, jazz, blues. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to sing jazz too. I really like jazz, but my idol, I don't know, uh, my idol is maybe Beyonce because mm -hmm. uh, she's like a complete personality because she uh, really she's a great singer, great dancer, and I don't know. I would like to be like her. Fantastic. We, we wish you guys all the best of luck, the girls, of course, uh, on the stage here in Malta, the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. Do well for your debut and uh, all the best. Enjoy to the fullest. You will have a lot of friends yeah. here in the contest. So uh, take care and, and enjoy this. Thank, Thank you very much.